Hey folks, Andre here from Gun Post. Last time, uh, or maybe the second last time we did a video, we did uh, some running and gunning with our uh, new laser sight. It's a flashlight and laser sight combo, the old light balder here. We did that with the Caltech Sub 2000, and we did it with the Glock. Um, personally, I got kind of, even though it's a quick job to move them from one gun to the other in about, you know, 10 seconds maybe, um, I got tired of re-zeroing re the light each time. Even though that's not a big deal, you can do it at home without firing a single shot, right? You can just line up with your iron sights. But, you know, I kind of wanted one to leave on uh, my pistol. So what I did was, and even though this one worked great for the pistol, it still fit just fine. Uh, I decided to go with one that's a little smaller, right, for my uh, pistol. And we'll leave the bigger one on my sub 2000 here. So, um, yeah. So what I got here was the Balder RL, right? And one thing that's interesting about the difference here, right? Um, we had uh, with this one, um, I can't remember the name of these batteries here, but they're like double A's, just shorter. But you just pop this open and change out your batteries if you need to. With this one here, you actually don't need to do that at all. Comes with a USB charger. Magnetized. So that's, uh, that's kind of handy there. So with that, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool because uh, this is red when you're charging, right? This little part here is red when you're charging. And when it's charged and... Pretty much exactly 45 minutes. I tested it a few times over. It goes green, so you know it's done charging. So that aside, um, you know, there's pros and cons to each, right? Having uh, batteries that you swap out, you can bring extra batteries with you if you're going somewhere, if you think you're going to need more, <laughs> if you're going to need the flashlight for extended periods of time then you could bring extra batteries with you. Um, but there is a cost to that, right? As where this, you can't bring extra batteries with you. You can recharge it, especially like a lot of times I carry a portable cell phone charging pack, like a pre-charged battery uh, when I go out hunting and stuff because I run gun posts and I need to be able to access emails and whatnot from my phone. So uh, I tend to carry one. Now, with that said, uh, if you don't have the ability to plug in a charger, um, this one, once it dies, it dies, right? You have to wait till you get home and charge it again. Or, like, charge it in your car or charge it, uh, you know, with a portable charger. So there's pros and cons, but what's really nice about this is, with it being rechargeable like a cell phone, you don't have to buy batteries like you do with the uh, the Balder. So the Balder, did I tell you the name? Balder RL Mini is what I've got here, right? So like I said, pros and cons of each. Now, um, we'll just do a side by side here. As you can see, the RL Mini here, the Balder RL Mini is smaller. So it's a better fit. Like the, the Balder... Worked great on my Glock also. Worked great on a pistol. But this one is definitely a better fit for a pistol. So, now about battery life, since we're talking about charging anyways. Uh, as you can see, it's just like the Balder, where you can choose laser only, or laser and flashlight, both at the same time, or flashlight only. Now, flashlight, talking about battery life here. If you got the flashlight or the flashlight and laser going at the same time, if you just switch it on and just let it roll, you're going to get about 40 minutes before the battery dies, right? So doesn't sound like a lot, but realistically, uh, I mean, you're not telling ghost stories at night for a few hours at a time using your flashlight for that, right? It's for going through your bags at dark or... Um, yeah. say you're sweeping a house or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to put this on an airsoft gun and play airsoft at night. I don't know what you're planning to do with yours. But um, 
40 minutes realistically is plenty for a particular excursion let's say now if you go laser only though uh you're getting somewhere between 10 and 17 hours and i say that because i don't have an exact number because i turned it on at 1 30 in the afternoon 1 30 p.m and when i went to bed at 11 30 at night 11 30 p.m so 10 hours later the uh, low battery indicator wasn't even on yet there's a little little light there so the low battery indicator hadn't even switched on when i went to bed and so that was 10 hours later now when i woke up in the morning the laser was off so it died at some point in that night so again all i can say is for sure you're gonna get 10 hours if you're laser only before the battery dies or somewhere maybe up to 17 hours i don't really know uh what point it died there so between 10 and 17 hours let's say okay let's see if i can find my pistol in the dark here <laughs> i didn't have it in my pocket like i said one nice thing about uh about this here is that uh it's it's not only it's ambidextrous but for me right-handed shooter without breaking my grip i can switch it on and off just like that, just like the balder. But, you know, so here we go here. I'm gonna switch it off. I'm gonna flip it so that it's laser only. Okay, so you can see my laser. Okay, I'm gonna go laser and flashlight here. Now, see here's the issue we ran into with last video. I can see the laser perfectly in the flashlight, no problem. But the camera has a hard time picking it up. That's the only issue. So you can see it there in the camera as where right there, you can't see it in the, in the camera. The camera's not picking it up, but I can see the laser perfectly. It's really nice actually. So um, yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna switch that off for a second. I'll grab the pistol carbine. It's daylight in here now with this light on. So let's see if we can see a difference with the, uh, try not to drop my pistol or, yeah, I'm doing this in the dark here. Not the best. Holding the camera with one hand. Okay, laser only right there. Okay, I'm gonna switch this. See if I can switch this with my hand here. There we go. How's that? Honestly, between the two right now, side by side, I can't say I can see uh, a whole lot of difference. Maybe if we go into a really bright room and point the flashlight at the ceiling, we can tell if there's a difference between the two lights. Let's give that a shot here. Okay, folks, so here is the, the balder. The original one the bigger one so let's take a look here because I got the light on in the room so let's see <laughs> as you can see again like the flashlights actually brighter we showed you this in the last video but the flashlights just as bright or brighter than the light that's in the room so anyways we'll take a look at that here now here's our mini on the Glock and again with my finger there I can turn it on this I was not quite expecting. This actually seems a little brighter. Um, and it seems to kind of radiate the light across the ceiling better than uh, the other one. But hold on, let's try that one more time. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I don't know that uh, mini light might might be better. It's quite interesting. So okay, well if that's the case, what's the advantage? What's the advantage of having the bigger one? I don't know. Um, maybe if you like uh, green light, I don't think they have this one in a in a green light just yet. But, um, what would the other one be? Maybe if you like having 
changeable batteries instead of charging it. But this charges in exactly 45 minutes. And the battery lasts, like again, with the flashlight on, you get 40 minutes out of it. If you're doing laser only, you get like 10 to 17 hours. So, but the charge time is quick. We're talking like 45 minutes. So it's a lot quicker than charging your cell phone, right? Um, so yeah, I don't know. Between the two. I mean, I'm obviously going to keep this one on my rifle now. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the light on that uh, that Mini. Well, they're both incredible. But that, uh, grab that Mini again. Yeah, that's pretty good.